Hey, what's up, people, and welcome to Trader Life Simulator. Now, I got this game a couple of weeks ago, but I thought it looked a little rough around the edges. But then again, I thought maybe I should let you all be the judge of that and see if you want to see more of it. So we're going to hop into a new game and we're going to see how we do with running a store. OK, we're in. So you all you all know I've been enjoying Ranch Simulator quite a bit and we're still going to be playing that. I'm just waiting for the next update, but I'm still playing on my own. But I thought, why don't we start and see how we do with some other simulation games? So we're going to be starting with this one. I got the offer for this key on Keymailer a couple of weeks ago, like I said. So we're going to be trying this out. So the goal of this game is to see how we do with running a convenience store or a supermarket, I should say. So we're going to see how that goes. So take the car and go to your shop. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and shut that. Press M to open the map. All right. Let's go ahead and press M. Let's see where our supermarket is. Supermarket. If I remember correctly, it was down the main street. Yeah. So I think our supermarket is that big green symbol right there. I don't think you can see my cursor. I'll have to turn that on eventually, but I'm pretty sure it's that green symbol right there. So let's go ahead and take our car and let's get down the street there. Don't forget to check the car's status by pressing E while looking at the car. All right, we can do that. All right, let's press E. Looks like we're all good on the car. 100% gas, oil, and I'm guessing that last one is repair. Doesn't, don't, doesn't look like we've crashed into anything. If your car runs out of fuel, use the phone by pressing N, but you need to f buy one first. I need to buy a phone first. Okay, looks like I need to go to the smartphone store. I think the smartphone store is on the same street as our supermarket. Yeah, to the left of the supermarket is the smartphone store. So we could probably do that after we get the store set up. Okay, let's go. All right, so we have headlights. We can reset the car. I'm guessing if we crash and we can leave the car. We can press Q to look back. That is a toggle. Let's slow down a bit. I'm pretty sure the store is down this street. Yep. On the same street as the bank. Yep, supermarket. So this must be our store here because this is what they showed us in the video. I only played for about 20 minutes or so, so I'm not entirely well versed in the game. All right, let's leave. Use the laptop to save your progress. Okay, sounds good. How much money do we have? Okay, it looks like we have 100 in the bank and 500 on ourselves. And it looks like we have a worker as well. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Okay, press Q to place furniture. All right, let's press Q. What kind of furniture do we have? We have a rack, we have a laptop, wall, door frame, door, toilet, bed, and a table. Let's place the laptop first, seeing as that's how we save. The worker will handle the selling process. You just have to collect money from the cash box. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and throw the laptop here. Seeing as this is the counter. This should be good enough. Okay. <laughs> That's slapping motion. I don't know why that was so funny. All right. Let's get a rack down. I'm guessing this is where we're going to put our product. Visit the furniture shop to buy a toilet, bath, and whatever else you need. Okay. Furniture shop. I can buy stuff to, I guess, furnish our house. Because our house didn't actually have many things. Where do I want to put this? I guess we'll put this here until we buy some more racks. We actually, I don't know how much the racks cost. I guess we can go and see. How is that? All right, I think that's good enough. If I remember correctly, there are boxes back here. Yeah. Start unpacking goods by pressing F while looking at the box. Okay. And there's also a bunch of boxes back here. Yeah, two. That's not really a bunch. 
Visit the Jabber Shop to restock. Okay. Where is the Jabber Shop on the map? Jabber Shop is a green symbol. Okay, so Jabber Shop is all the way to the top right. So we'll have to drive up there eventually. Okay, sounds good. Let's go ahead and bring this over here. I'm th I think I'm going to bring all the boxes over here first. Before we start unpacking anything. I think that would be best. Then I think it said I need to press F in order to start taking stuff out. Might actually need this ladder as well. Use the laptop to save the game. Okay. I wonder if these are just extra or if these are different supplies. I actually don't remember. But we'll bring everything just in case. And I'll just throw all this stuff back in if we don't use it all. Let's grab this too. Come on. I'll press F to interact. I like how it has sounds of wheels. Okay, cool. So let's see, what products do we have here? This is, is this coffee? This seems like it's coffee. How far back can I put this? Can I rotate it? I can, all right. Oh, it is coffee. Was that this box? Yeah, it was. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and place all this stuff and then I'll be back with you once we get to the next box. Okay, looks like this was the last of the coffee. Let's see what is in a another box. Let's try this one. What is this? Toilet paper? I guess we can put this on the bottom shelf. Okay, definitely toilet paper. All right, let's see. I'm guessing it's all toilet paper. Yeah, it must be. This is so hard to do. There we go. For some reason, that wouldn't go there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop all this down, and I'll be back with you all. Okay, this is the last of the toilet paper. Didn't do such a good job with organizing all the toilet paper as I thought I did. Looks a little janky, at least to me. Let's see what else we got. What the heck is this? This is laundry detergent. Yep, laundry detergent for white colors. Okay. Do we want to put that next to the coffee? That seems kind of strange. Maybe we'll put this on the top. Or should we put it next to the toilet paper? I don't know how much of this we have. You know what? Let's put it on the top. I think we're going to need this ladder. I can't actually rotate this ladder, so I'm going to have to put it sort of down like this and then walk to the top. There we go. All right, let's grab this. Can I actually get up here without a problem? Kind of. Not a huge fan of this ladder. We'll figure it out. Oh, maybe I can put it to the side. Let's try this again. What if I do something like this and then just walk up from the side and then turn? Because for some reason, I can't actually move the ladder in the way I want it to. Come on. <laughs> I really can't get up here. Okay, that's not going to work. I'll try something else, but I'm going to put all this detergent down, maybe on this shelf, and then we'll open up the next box. Was it this one? Okay. Maybe it wasn't. Is this detergent too? Larger detergent for mixed colors. Okay. Okay, so it looks like you get a different color out of this box each time you go into it. Yep, you definitely do. And this is for dark colors. Alright, so that was all for the laundry detergent, and I still can't figure out how to get this ladder to work for me. I've been pressing spacebar. If I press E, nothing happens. Hmm, not sure. Like, I can get on one rung for a second, but then I fall off, which is weird. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what's in the next box. What's this? This looks like a tea box. Meeching fresh herbal drinks. Yep, definitely a tea box. All right, so let's see how far we can get up without an issue. Okay, so it looks like we can get up this far. We can't get up any higher than this. So for some reason, I'm going to put the tea on the very top shelf when I probably should have put the detergent up here. All right, here we go. I should 
should probably get this a little bit closer. All right, I'm going to put all the tea up here. And then I think we'll check the last box. And then maybe we'll open up shop. 1600 right now, which I think is 4 o'clock military time, if I read that correctly. So it's getting kind of late for our first day. But we have to do all this unboxing for our first day. So I guess that's warranted. And then maybe we'll go and check out some of the other shops. Maybe we'll buy a smartphone. I'm not sure how much those are going to be. We're doing a terrible job on this tea. Look how sl slanted it is. That's awful. All right. Let's back up a little bit. I wonder if I can put this box on top of here. Can I place this box on here? No, I can't. That would have been cool. Okay, that is the last of the T. Come on. There we go. That's the last of the T. Now let's see what's in here. Are these diapers? These are diapers. Okay, let's put the diapers next to the... Toilet paper. I'm going to try to fit all of this in. I don't think I'm actually going to make it. Probably should have put it like this. Yeah, let's put it like this. I was going to try to separate the diapers, but they'll be able to grab what they can grab. Yeah, we'll save in a bit. I can't tell you how many times I've seen that symbol to save. We're going to need another rack for sure. Actually, you know what? We'll probably go and see how much the racks cost after this. And I think we'll open the store and let the worker do what the worker needs to do. I'm not sure exactly how long the store will be open, though. This is terrible. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure... Didn't we have a table? I'm pretty sure there was a table or something. Yeah. Can we use this? What if we put this... Let's put this over here. And then we can put some stuff on the table. Uh, right there. That's horrible. But let's put some of this stuff on the table over here. This definitely doesn't look like the best store. But I think eventually we'll make the store a lot better. Alright, let's put some diapers on the table. Our store is super janky right now. Okay, Rascal Jr. for crybabies, for party poopers, and for wimps. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and throw this back here. And can I close this? Yes, I can. All right, let's go ahead and open up the shop. I don't know how long it's going to be open for, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we get any customers. And I'm going to save. How do we save? Save game. There it is. Management. Okay. Game saved. Awesome. We don't have shampoo, so the customer left. Damn it. So we need to get shampoo. Eventually, I think we're going to try to have a little bit of everything. But as you can see, our store looks a little bare right now. What are you going to buy? No bleach. Okay. No shampoo, no bleach. That sucks. I don't think we actually need to be here for things to work smoothly. I want to see where we buy racks from. Hey, are you buying something? Hey, you bought tea. Awesome. So we sold tea for 10 bucks. So let's see. Let's check the map real quick. So we have a furniture shop, which is down the street there. Can we buy racks from the furniture shop? I think so. So next to the bank, to the left of the bank, is the furniture shop. I guess we can go and see, check out the furniture shop. So that's the right of the bank. So we got to go this way. Let's go check over here. Go to the bank to transfer money, take a loan or add money to your card. You can also use an ATM. Okay, cool. Let's go check out the furniture shop. And one thing I noticed when I was playing before is that there are no women in the city. We're in a town full of dudes. And I don't know what just happened there. It looks like they just walked into each other. Okay, we definitely went the wrong way because the furniture shop was on the other side. What shop is this? 
tools. Okay. Furniture shop is in this direction. And it looks like my character needs to use the bathroom. And take a shower. And eat. We'll try to do all those things eventually. We didn't have any beans. Well, that sucks. Okay, nope. That's not the furniture shop. That's somebody else's car. It's a pretty small town. At least this section. Hello, sir. Are you the furniture shop? You don't really have a symbol, but you do have some racks here. So I'm guessing you're the furniture shop. Do we talk to you? No, we don't. Can we use to put products on? We need 150 for this. Should we buy a shelf? That's kind of steep. You know what? We're going to buy one shelf. All right, we bought a shelf. I'm going to say that it's in my inventory. Yep. Okay, cool. We got ourselves a new shelf and we needed a cell phone. I think the cell phone store is over here. Is that blood? What kind of town am I living in? I hope that's not blood. All right, let's see. How much does a cell phone cost? Cell phone costs 125. Okay. Press in to use your phone. We can repair our car for $800. Refill our gas for four fifty. Refill oil for three fifty. Why is everything so expensive? Tow our car home for five hundred. Customers complaints. Oh, so we can check everything that we didn't have that we need to pick up from the store, I guess. Interesting. So that thing for no yogurt should be there, right? Yep, no yogurt. Okay, cool. So we can check our store updates from our phone. That's good to know. This is the laptop store. No chocolate milk. And you look like something somewhere I can eat. You can buy a smartphone from the smartphone shop. It will help you manage your vehicles. We could have more than one car. That's good to know. Diaper sold for 15. Buy food for $15. Are we hungry enough right now? I think we're going to let our hunger go up a little bit more. Because if... If the food that we buy will fill a hundred hunger, then I think we'll be set. All right, so we have another rack. I think we'll put the other rack. Should we put it near the door there or should we put it where this table is? Yeah, I think we'll put it near the table. Maybe right here. All right, let's pop that other rack down and we'll put the diapers on it. All right. Let's do this. So I think we can place it right here. That was actually terrible. How do I put this back in my inventory? T. All right. Let's put this back down. Let's see how close we can get it. That's pretty good. All right. This is good enough. This is probably still terrible. Yeah, this is still terrible. I'll probably fix it on my own time if I end up playing. All right, let's pop these down. Yeah, it's crooked. Oh, well, we're going to have to deal with it. I think the store is closed. The yard work is gone. The store is closed. It did say that we had a bed. I think we actually probably should put that in our house. So as soon as I finish with these diapers, we'll drive back home and we'll plop the bed down now we don't exactly have a shower so our dirtiness is going to be up for a while but if we make it to a different store maybe we can actually find a shower all right so how do i grab the money that we made today it said find the cash box is this the cash box Okay, cool. We made $159 today. That's not that much, but no big deal. Let's close up shop. Let's leave first. Okay, shop is closed. Good lord, it gets dark out here. Alright, let's get back home. Did we have some lights? There we go. Come on.
Okay, let's get home. Let's see if we can sleep till the next day. I know I'm on the wrong side of the road. Don't judge me. There's no other cars out here. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. I don't have the money to repair our vehicle if we crash, so we're going to have to take it a little cautious now. I don't know why I was looking down. I control where my vision is. Okay. Whoa, 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 slow down. Oof. That was bad. Going way too fast. All right, let's check our car. How bad is it? 98? Yeah. At least it only took 2%. Okay, so where do we want to place our bed? Let's check out these rooms. This is an obvious bathroom. We have this pink room here and this green room here. Which room's bigger? This room's pretty small, actually. These look like the same size. And that's definitely the bathroom. I guess we'll take the green room. Yeah, the green room's a little bit bigger, I think. Not by much, though. Okay, let's see. Bed. Let's throw this down. Do we want to sit by the window? Nah, we'll put it here. That should be good. All right, now let's go ahead and sleep. <laughs> go to the restaurant when you're hungry. There's a restaurant. Okay, so we're going to have to find that. Maybe we don't have to actually use that street vendor. It was only $15, though. Now, where do I go when I need to take a shower? That's the question. Is there like a, a gym I can go to? Let's check the map. Is there a gym? Smartphones, laptops, pharmacy, tool shop, car mechanic, car parts, bank, trading company, exporting, gas, furniture. I don't really think that's a furniture shop. It only had those racks for my sh for my uh, store. Car shop and jabber shop. Jabber shop is just a supermarket. Oh, there's two furniture shops. There's one near that little barn. Maybe we'll drive up to that one to see if they have more furniture. Like a shower. Yeah, maybe we'll do that today. We'll open up the shop and then we'll drive up to the furniture shop to see if they have a shower. And where was the restaurant? Restaurant. I'm not seeing a symbol for... Our, oh, right there. Next to the gas station, there is a restaurant. So if we drive straight past the bank, actually it's right next to our house. So from our house, we drive straight. There's a gas station and a restaurant. Oh, it looks like somebody reset my car. Weird, but I thank you car fairy. Okay, let's go. Let's go open up shop and then we'll go in, get some food. Yep, best burger. That looks like where we'll be eating. There was a garage back there, but we'll go to that. Maybe we'll park in there later. Come on, get out. There we go. Best park job ever. All right, let's open up shop. So, what we need today is possibly to grab some more supplies. No toothpaste. Yeah, we're going to need to get some more stuff. Let's go and get some food. Nope, wrong button. Let's go get some food. And then we're going to go and check out that other furniture shop. I think that would be best. Okay, so it looks like we pay our workers from our bank balance. So we're gonna have to make sure we have money in the bank in order to pay our workers. So maybe we'll keep 100 in the bank. That might be best. 
We'll see. All right, let's pull in here. Tissue sold for 25. I don't think I should have parked there, but whatever. I don't see any other place to park. All right, restaurant. It's a nice establishment you got here. Order and pay here. I think I'll go to the front just to see how much the food is. Got drinks. So how much is the food? Interact. Pizza is $65. Burgers, 25. And fries are 15. Why is the burger 25? All right, let's buy some fries. We're at 68 hunger right now. Let's see how what we go down to. How do I eat? I see f fries floating in my hand. No, I don't want to put that down. I want to eat it. Uh, escape. E to interact. F to interact. <laughs> what do I do with these fries? Okay. Oh, there we go. E. Okay. So $15 only took away that much. We're still pretty hungry. Maybe we'll go to the hot dog vendor and see how much hunger that takes away. But where is the no milk? Okay. Well, that sucks. Now let's see according to the map where the other furniture store is. It looks like if we continue down this road and we go up and then continue down a little bit and then take a right, we'll get to the other furniture store. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Wait, what does that say? Animal trader? So that little cow symbol is an animal trader. I'm guessing we can do some farming eventually, which is interesting. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take a right. Just got to remember that we take a right. Okay. Let's back up. I like that we have a worker and the thing sort of runs itself. That's something that I think Ranch Simulator might need to have eventually is a worker to sort of take care of like milking the cows and stuff because that's what I've been getting on to do every now and then is just milk the cows so we can sell that stuff eventually. How long have we been going at this? Oh, it's been 30 minutes so far. I didn't even realize. Well, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Furniture store. The proper furniture store. I don't know why I keep looking down. I got to control where I look. All right. Furniture store. Proper furniture store. We need a shower. We already have a toilet. I'm just going to pop that down in our store and see what happens this is fifty dollars for customizing your shop do you guys sell showers can we use to save products that require a fridge 750 so if i need anything that needs to be refrigerated i need to buy one of these things but they cost a hell of a lot cake fridge a thousand whoo we're gonna need so much money can we use to put products inside? Bread stand. These cost seven fifty. These cost three fifty. Wow. So it looks like we're gonna be slowly, gradually making enough to get up there. Oh yes, two fifty a bath to clean myself. Okay, that's a lot of money though. Is there anything cheaper? Because we're at 54 dirtiness right now. And I think that might be important. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it. I might regret this, but I'm going to do it. Alright, we bought ourselves a bath. I have a feeling I'm going to regret that. Your place is super expensive. Shame on you. And why do I have such little money? I need a quest system to give me some money. All right, let's uh get back. No and Dooley. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. I don't even know. I haven't even had whatever that is. Okay, let's go. 
really hope this is the right way. Diaper sold for 15. If I remember correctly, buying that stuff is so expensive. Wait, actually, you know what? Let's see how much it costs to actually buy new supplies while we're up here. I'm pretty sure the shop for buying stuff is over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody ever said driving was my strong suit. Yep, Jabber Shop. This is where we need to go. Slow down. Is there a handbrake? I wish there was a handbrake. Gosh, I'm so terrible. Some products require a fridge. Otherwise, they will rot. Yeah, but the fridges are so expensive. So let's see. I'm guessing these are all the fridge products. High price. Good price. Current price. So these are high price. And they cost 85 these cost 75 I'm guessing we get a whole box of these. But they require fridges. These are cakes. Those are bread. High price. We can buy some watermelon for 350 Oof. Current price is 37 Normal prices. So there's like a whole market in the system as well. Normal price is 40 Current price is 33 so we can replenish our tea, but the tea right now is at a high price. Coffee's at a good price. No cucumbers. So the stuff is not as expensive as I thought it was. What's this? Pasta. But I'm not sure what we're selling it for. Yeah, I think we sold tea for 10 bucks, but right now we can buy it for 40. That seems kind of excessive, but I guess that's how the world works. <laughs> we can buy detergent. Yeah, we'll probably end up doing that if we do another episode. But yeah, things are going to cost quite a bit. I wonder if our store is empty. I'm pretty sure it's empty right now. We have been selling stuff all day. But let's get back to the store and let's check it out. And then maybe we'll... Nope, we still have diapers. Then maybe we'll end this episode after we take a bath. Nope, wrong way. Come on turn there we go coffee sold for 10 yeah I think coffee was like 25 bucks so we're not making a huge profit on what we have but then again you have to remember that we're buying I'm guessing we're buying a box of coffee so we get multiple so maybe we are making some money back at least that's what I have to remember Because it's not like we're just buying. <laughs> I'm going to crash into everybody. All right, we're at 92. Why does everything go down at the same rate? I feel like something's off about that. Okay, how's our store doing? We still have quite a bit of tea left. Our coffee is going down. But we still have a little bit. Detergent's good. People really like toilet paper. We're going to have to buy some more of that and our diapers are almost gone okay that's good to know let's see how much money have we made so far 286 not too bad so yeah if we end up doing another episode i think i will go and restock the store i think we can do that and we'll take a look at all of the complaints and maybe we'll see what we can buy there but let's go ahead and throw all of this stuff into our house and then i think we'll call it a day all right everybody so we made it back home and we have our toilet and we have our tub we need both of those things right now and we need to eat again but we'll do that a little bit later all right so let's see where do i want to can i close this i can't close my own bathroom door well that's rude okay so Toilet door bath. How big is this? That's not big at all. I think we could put this right here. K 
can't really get up against the wall. This makes me miss House Flipper. Because I used to play, actually still play quite a bit of that game. And things are pretty good in that game. You know, I could put this here. Right behind the door. I'll pick it up later. And get it. Oh, that's awful. I have to pick it up now. I'll never forgive myself. All right. Let's try this again. This is definitely not where a bath would be, but we'll do it. That's good enough. And we had a toilet. We'll throw that down right here. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Okay, and cleanliness. Okay, really? That didn't get everything? There we go. Finally. All right, everybody. So I think that's going to bring us... I still can't close this door. Oh, I can. All right, everybody. I think that's going to bring us to the end of... I can't close it. All right. I think that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you didn't, however, leave a comment. Let me know why. If you ever want to get in contact with me, you can follow on Twitter, Pernarios Gaming. Or you can join the Discord, which should be in the description of any of my videos. But with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Later.